Now, phones have multiple cameras. But why? And do they all really work? Well, let's try it out. And now, if your phone has more than one camera, I need you to set up your camera, then try blocking the rest of the cameras. You'll notice that one camera displays. The other ones does not affect the display of the camera. Yeah? Even if you block that main camera which is displaying, you'll notice that the rest of the cameras won't display anything. And why does your phone have them if they don't work? Well, let's take it back. Do the rest of the cameras in your phone really work? Now, let's try the experiment again. Now, uh, for Samsung phones, I know this will work pretty well. So now, try this. Now, change the uh, modes in your phone. Then, maybe try changing to portrait mode. Or maybe try changing to macro. Yeah, and try blocking your phone's camera. The rest of the cameras, just let one camera display. Now, one thing you'll notice is that there is a shift, yeah? When you change your phone's mode to maybe portrait or macro, you notice that the phone starts shifting the cameras. Now, a different camera will be the one displaying, yeah? The first one, which was displaying, won't display anymore. And also, you can simply try zooming. When you zoom, you'll notice that when you block the cameras, the one which was displaying does not display anymore. The display has shifted to the other cameras. Now, you have seen that all these cameras actually work. And I'm sure this will work for Samsung phones. Now, if your phone does not shift the cameras, then don't worry. They still work. Just that maybe they are not programmed the same way. But for Samsung, you'll notice the shift in camera displays. So, you've seen the cameras work. So, they are not actually useless. But why do they have all these cameras? Can they just create one camera? Now, one thing you need to understand is that professional cameras, uh, for example, the one I'm using, you find a setting like zooming in, it can shoot wide angles, things like those. You find a lot of settings in just a single camera. Yeah, you can change the lighting. Now, for a phone, one camera cannot accommodate all these settings. <coughs> yeah. Your phone is not yet integrated to a point whereby it can accommodate all the professional camera settings under one camera. Now, so these other cameras actually have different functions. So each camera has its specific function. So you'll find one camera for shooting wide angles, another camera for color displays, concentrating on color, another camera takes the image details. Now this Functions are integrated in each of the cameras. So one camera can have maybe two functions, but they can't have all of these functions in one camera. Yeah? So they are programmed here for things like portrait, wide angles, other cameras let in light. With several cameras, your phones can receive enough lighting to enable it to uh, shoot clear images. Yeah? So... Now you know where your phone has multiple cameras. For more cool videos and more informative content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Jinani R2 Junior. I'll see you. Peace out to